this section of the course, we're gonna go through database manipulation, database migration, and everything you'll need to know to work with your database in a Rails project. You've already done quite a bit with the database already, but I wanted to have some videos that focus specifically on them so that you can use the videos later on as a point of reference. So I'm gonna start off with the easiest, which is Rails G migration and then we're going to add a column. So we're gonna add a project column. So add, and we're gonna say stage to projects. And we're gonna say stage, and we're gonna go with a integer value. So if I start that up, this is gonna create our migration file, and just to review, if we come back here, you can see that it's gonna add a column to the projects table, it's going to be called stage, and it's gonna be of data type integer. So that all looks good. I think we're safe to run our migration. Okay, that worked. And to verify, you can come back here and you see stage now in the projects. So what happens when you do something like this, but you made a mistake? That's what we're gonna cover in the next video, which is how to change a data type in your uh, in your application's database.